Hello YouTube, it's the ladies man from Team Forbidden Game with another tech profile. With another win deck, basically, I mentioned this deck in my top 10 decks, it's Ritual Beast. For those who don't know, Ritual Beast was one of the decks that came out back in 2015 in the Secret Forces. They were kind of meta back then, but now it's more of a casual deck. But without further ado, let's get right into it. First off, your extra normal summon of the deck, which is your Elder. Whenever it works with any Ritual Beast, even your Spiritual Beast monsters, which we'll get, which we'll get to that later. And plus, it helps you go into your fusions, link plays, you name it. So, you need to run three of Elder. The other Tamers, two of Wind. Wind basically brings back a Banished Ritual Beast monster. So, that's their, one of their main gimmicks is Banishing. So, and plus, also Contact Fusion. The one Laura. Lara is basically like a Monster Reborn type of card, but for Ritual Beasts. That's it for the Tamers. Now we're going into the Spiritual Beasts. We'll go with Winda. Winda, she's uh, very good. She's a level 4. Plus, when she's destroyed by any means, you get the special Ritual Beast from Extra Deck or from Deck, ignoring summoning conditions. Three of Kanahawk, which is your goat, your other goat Sark of the deck. Basically, bash Ritual Beast, wait two turns, and then get get Spell Trap Monster. Doesn't matter. Your other banishing card, which is Repingu. Repingu basically banishes a, a Ritual Beast in an extra deck, and then you send that same material, the same type, to the graveyard. And then two of Paleo. Paleo is basically like your beat stick and plus it boosts your ritual beast. And then two two of um, Pedal Dolphin. Pedal Dolphin basically you can banish a ritual beast and then bounce back a card so it's like a compulse basically. Then they do run Pendulum, so to a Pelica. Pelica basically is like um, like Laura, but it's whenever she when she is normal or Pendulum summoned. And then your other Pendulum to a Wendy. Wendy is basically your your seven scale, and um, she has an effect, but it's mostly for Zephyrus. But you already use that effect. You only use her for as a scale. Then for hand traps to effect fader standard. I couldn't uh, couldn't find room for other hand traps right now because the monster count's very heavy. So two effect fader for now, and then in maybe the near future I'll add more hand traps if I can find the room. And then for your non hand trap non one tempest. It's a win target, plus it helps with the deck synergy, synergy with the bashing part. That's it for the monsters. On to the spells. On Gold Sark, it's basically your fourth copy of, um, Kun of Kunahawk. One Deep Prison, basically bashes every, any type of monster. And it synergizes well with the deck. Two of Return, basically it's like another Monster Reborn type of card, and you just banish one from hand, special summon one from Graveyard, and it works up like that. Bond is your Fusion type of card, and um, it only requires two Ritual Beasts. So it can be Spiritual Beasts, Ritual Beasts, any, any of them will work with this, it ignores so many conditions. For some, but for most. Now, since since most of them are psychic, one e telly, e telly standard in any psychic deck, basically turbo out your deck. One monster reborn because we can have nice things. And then for hand trap hate, three call by the grave. 
Call by the grave. Call, call by the grave. No need to explain. That's it for the, the spells. On to the traps. Three of steeds. Steeds basically is your um, Icarus attack of the deck, which you can pop as many up to the number of ritual beasts you, you currently control. That does not work with the pendulums, I found out the hard way. It only works on monsters. It doesn't work on ritual beast cards. It only works on monsters. So if you have a full field, you can basically non tardy removal, get rid of like problematic cards. Then two of ambush. Ambush basically you can target a spiritual beast or ritual beast tamer and special summoner from either the banished zone or the graveyard. But you can't special summon anything else other than ritual beast for the rest of the turn. Which with this deck you hardly use the extra deck. Mostly fusions. But when you need to, one mark of cosmos because Banishing's a ding. And then the last two cards, a Solemn and an Ultimate Providence. Solemn, standard. Ultimate Providence, basically it's like a Solemn Judgment, but instead of um, paying half your life points, you discard the same type of card from your hand. That's it for the main deck. On to the extra deck. One Link Karibo because of the Lara. Three of Kemli Falcos. Falco basically he makes makes you go into your fusions more easily. And plus, what well, as long as there's a ritual beast that it points to, you it gains six hundred. So this helps you with your with your fusion. Then since it's a wind deck, one great fly. It's pretty standard. I was debating of running um, the Harpy Link, but I prefer um, Grave Fly because um, it's um, it's more generic for for this deck. Onto the fusions, two of Otia Paleo. He's your ancient gear golem of the deck of the of the group. Basically, whenever he attacks, your opponent can't activate anything until the end of the, at the end of the damage step. Yes, Only one of Conahawk because he's at one. Back in 2015, this card is the reason. Is there is a reason? He's the reason why. He's the reason why. Ritual Beast took like 30 minutes per turn. He's the main reason why. And then a lot of people want this card off the list. It won't do anything, even even at even at three, it won't do anything. Plus with the new time rules, people won't won't do 30 minute turns. Oh, that's their orchest. And then two of Pet Dolphin. Pet Dolphin basically can't be destroyed by card effect, so the only way they can destroy is by battle. Plus it has a 2800 defense. Most cards can't get over it, so unless they kaiju it. And another thing about the fusions, they're contact fusion, and basically they can contact out, similar to Gladiator Beast. Then for your, for your rank fours, one Abyss Dweller, for graveyard heavy decks, one Tornado Dragon, because um, floodgates are a thing, and then since you're running winds, one Lightning Shidori gets rid of back row, gets rid of problematic monsters. <laughs> and then your final card is Castel. So, like Shidori, but instead it's just stuff it back into the deck. That's it for Ritual Beast. If you have any questions or concerns, or if you would like to see a combo tutorial, feel free down in the comment below. And until next time.